Oh. That was a nice smile on your face, Brian. I oh, think that man. was your atmosphere. That's your when, happy when you, place. When, when that rod starts bouncing, I mean, I try to fish. Yeah. I try. I, <laughs> you I fish like, a lot, Brian. Well, one of my Give favorite things. Some credit one of my favorite sayings is, if you caught anything, they'd call it catching, not yes. fishing. Oh. So I normally fish. That's Jason good. obviously catches. And like and the that. thing that uh, that just blows my mind is, yeah, I try to get out about once a week, mm -hmm. and sometimes I come back and uh, you know don't don't have any luck. Right. I asked Jason how often he gets skunked when you don't catch any fish. Yeah. He says once a year, and that's, that's a bad insane. year. Insane. Yeah. I always do get yeah. super excited that. the few times that I do go fishing. When yeah. when something hits the pole and you're like, oh, you know, I got and it, and then snagged. you reel it up and it's like seaweed a or stick. a yeah. huge stick. That was the latest one that I got made fun of by my family. I was like, okay. well, next time you catch a, a stick, maybe it's a big stick. Yeah. It, well, it yeah. was. Okay. It was like okay. I didn't. I tell you, that stick there. was this yeah. big. Go figure, folks. go home. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I should have. It's a good stick for the dog. Stick means right. fish, yeah. right? Yeah. Stick means fish. Yeah. Okay. Sure. Perfect. Fish we'll stick. Yeah. Synonyms. They're synonyms. Look at it. <laughs> All right. Well, probably a, probably a good morning to get out and hit the river, Sorry, perhaps yeah. before before float season starts. Yeah, tomorrow. absolutely. So uh, the water levels, of course, coming down, and beautiful weather out there, nice and uh, crisp this morning out there along the water. So yeah, why not go out and do some fishing, or what I would probably call skunking, because I don't think I ever fish or catch anything. All right. Here's a gorgeous view over Stanley this morning. Things are quiet there now, but uh, cranking up the energy up there this weekend. A music festival happening. Music festivals happening all over the state uh, this weekend between Huckleberry Jam Fest up in Donnelly and the Mountain Home Country Music Festival uh, out there outside of Fairfield. So a lot going on. Sizzling temps on the way for us across the board. So beautiful start to the day. Look at McCall. I love that yellow glow of the water coming in with the sunrise there. And things are starting to look nice here over downtown Boise too. We've got some pinks and purples starting to illuminate up into that skyline. Temperature is low 70s for us out at the airport. We've also jumped into the low 70s around here. 10 mile an hour winds, humidity at 38% on this Friday morning. Happy Friday to you. Waking up to plenty of sunshine once that sun does come up. Sunrise, of course, waiting just a smidge more each day as we scoot away from that summer solstice, but just a couple clouds trying to shuffle on in through southeastern Oregon into southwest Idaho, but nothing that's going to uh, cause you any problems this morning. You'll certainly want the sunglasses for that drive. The glare will be out in fashion today. Uh, satellite and radar just showing the scattering of activity again, just spotty showers and storms, pockets of that moisture uh, down there in the southwest where we have the monsoon moisture still in play. For the most part though, the Pacific Northwest, the Intermountain West, you can see we are drying out and that's going to be uh, courtesy of some high pressure building in from the Southwest. So everything coming from that direction and as we fast forward on the future cast, really not a lot to talk about aside from isolated mountain showers. Overall, we're just going to notice things getting awfully hot. So toasty temperatures make their comeback. The ridge of high pressure amplifies uh, up into the Pacific Northwest and the Great Basin area. The area of high pressure will kind of be down here in the Four Corners region, just kind of circulating and spinning down there, uh, possibly shooting a little bit of monsoon moisture up in our direction, but overall it's just going to start to feel hot. So let's take you through today. Really going to be uh, one of those days where what you see is what you get on the future cast. Around here, plenty of sunshine, maybe a few clouds building in over the Owyhees a little bit later on, and some cloud buildups in the mountains could formulate some of those isolated to scattered mountain showers and thunderstorms. Just enough instability in the atmosphere still that we don't want to rule out a stray rumble of thunder out there later on today. Same story for the weekend if you are going to be up at those music festivals in the mountains. Otherwise, looking good headed into your Saturday morning. Beautiful evening to take that boat out if you're here in town or up at Payette Lake. Temps will be in the 80s there, uh, but we've got 98 on the menu for us this afternoon. Plenty of sunshine. Should feel good up there at the lake to be in the water, cruising around on the boat. Get that natural wind breeze going. Uh, we're at 98 today in Boise, 99 in Mountain Home, Caldwell. Going to be a toasty one out there for the uh, Canyon County Fair for you. 98 degrees, 100 on the dot in Ontario, and 80s scattered across the high terrain this afternoon. 60s and 70s for our overnight lows, so we'll start to notice those more warm nights creeping back in when we start talking about triple digit temperatures and speaking of just in time for the Canyon County Fair here they come just in time for the float or the opening uh, day of floating season on the Boise River triple digits tomorrow we're at 100 on the dot just shy of it today we'll be flirting with 100 in many areas and also uh, headed into the next week well, we got a lot of those triple digits on the board. Could see our first string of them. Uh, one thing about this weekend, one event going on, the San Ignacio uh, Basque Festival that I love, uh, it's in the shade, that basque.